Welcome back to Today We Review number 40. Today we review Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from 1990, the original, for this week's Harry Movie Club. So this movie has aged a bit now. It was made before I was born. I had seen it back when I was like a child, but I really didn't remember much of the story at all. Um, I remember, of course, that there's the four turtles and there's the rat. But other than that, this was pretty much a new experience for me. And overall, I would say it was enjoyable. It's about a 90-minute film. There are parts that get a little cheesy, but with it being 90 minutes and the cheese is kept to a minimum, I would say it's still good to check out. There were some good comedic bits in this. One of the ones that stand out to me was with Elias Coates' character, Casey Jones. They get to the turtle's hideout after April O'Neil's antique shop got blown up. Casey Jones starts acting a bit off, and then it's said that he's claustrophobic, and then he defends himself as if he thought claustrophobic meant he was like a closet homosexual. Uh, I kind of thought that was funny and a bit uh, and a bit daring for this type of movie. I thought the voice acting in this was really good and the animatronics uh, like Splinter still looked pretty good and the turtles it's from the nine it's from 1990 the turtles do look a little dated like they look a plastic suitish but I didn't mind it I think this is probably going to be better than the new one coming out. This movie did have like a good flow to it there weren't too many lol points that I thought and the action scenes were really good even though it's been a while the choreography for it still definitely holds up and the foot plane when they fight the turtles it looks good and splinter was good i really liked that you kind of were able to always feel his presence but you never really saw him until the end and another thing that's good in this is the foot clan at their like little home base down below they're talking about how everyone how these people have like been kicked out they're like the outcasts but here they have a family and it kind of pulls, I think, on everyone's needing to belong. And that's why they kind of are able to get Danny Pennington in on it. And Danny Pennington is the kid that at the beginning steals money from April. He ends up, after this movie, having a change of heart. So the movie does have some character development. So the movie is 90 minutes. Like I said, it goes by pretty quick. If you're looking for just, like, a movie that you can put on, you don't have to fully watch it. But if you do watch it, you'll still be entertained. I'd recommend this. I would say Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from 1990 is a keep. The one that's coming out this year, I probably won't be saying the same thing. I don't know if I'll even go check it out. I never was a huge Turtles fan. I get why people like them, but it was never my cup of tea. So this was Today We Review number 40. Thanks to everyone that has watched the previous ones and that come back. I appreciate that. Like I said, this was for Harry Movie Club, so there's an annotation. You can click on the annotation and it'll take you to the playlist Mr. Harry Britt creates. If you do want to reach me, please feel free to comment below. You can also do so on Twitter at MadLFan. Use hashtag TodayWeReview. And thanks for watching Today Review. Come back soon.